Hey guys, welcome to Nitola. So in this video, we will see about the most expected questions in the chapter of motion in straight line in part 1 kinematics. So before seeing this video, don't subscribe for Nitola. Do subscribe to it uh, because we have done great efforts to make this video to uh, make you thorough in this chapter and uh, make a pro in your, uh, in your physics of this chapter. So do uh, subscribe and share it with your friends and uh, do comment your idea below. So let us get into the video. So the first most expected question is the question selected with uh, speeds and distances, average speeds etc. So we will do the first question so that you will get an idea about it. A bus travelling the first one third distance at speed of 10 km per hour, the next one third at 20 km per hour and the last one third at 60 km per hour. The average speed of the bus is. So how can you make it? So let us take the total distance. Total distance travelled as A. The first one third distance means A by 3 with uh, A by 3 it is going with what speed? 10 km per hour. Then the next a by 3 with 20 km per hour the next a by 3 with 60 km per hour so what is the average speed it means that the total distance covered by total time taken so the total time taken we will take it as t T is equal to A by 3. You will get uh, velocity is equal to distance by time. Then time is equal to distance by velocity. So A by 3 by 10 plus A by 3 by 20 plus A by 3 by 60. You will take uh, the LCM as 60. And if you make it, you will get it as A by 18. This is the time taken. So average speed is equal to total distance by total time what is the total distance i will erase everything I, it will be good i think or i will try to make it now another color average speed is equal to total distance by total time what is the total time a by 18 so, now what is the average speed? V average is equal to total time is total distance is A as I told you before. Total time is A by 18. So, A, A cancel. So, answer will be 18 km per hour. Answer is this one. So, let us move into the next question. So, this can be asked with different formats like one third distance at a speed of 10 km per hour or with one third time uh, with 10 km per hour or any values and one third time is 20 km per hour and one next one third with 60 km per hour if you understand this concept you can answer uh, both type of questions let us move into the next video guys so in this question what they are asking is First, at uh, x is equal to 40, particle moves along a straight line OX. Okay. At a time t in seconds, the distance x in meters of the particle uh, O is given by x is equal to 40 plus 12t minus t cube. How long the particle travels before, below, before coming to rest? So, at first, when the particle is at, zero th at uh, time 0, where the particle is we will find first so x is equal to 40 plus 12 into 0 minus 0 cube so at t is equal to 0 at time uh, 0 seconds the particle is at 40 meters at t is equal to 0 seconds the next thing is at when the particle will get into rest when the velocity is equal to 0 so d v is equal to dx by dt which means uh, dx by dt of this equation will be uh, 12 
minus 3 t square is equal to 0 by that by that we will get t as 2 so if we substitute that 2 here in the x equation we will get x equal to 40 plus 24 12 into 2 is 24 minus 8 what will get you will get 56 as answer at t is equal to 2 seconds so at 0 second it is at 40th meter it is a 40 meter then it came to 56 meter t is equal to 2 so what is the distance travel between the time it is 56 minus 40 it is 16 meter so the answer is this one they may ask questions like this with regard to your differentiation sums uh, so please keep in that uh, keep that in mind so let us move into the next question this question types are important because uh, they will ask uh, you questions like this uh, it will be more uh, for differentiation integration this kinematics topic so you should be uh, all thorough with this uh, this is a good example with regarding and it will be a most expected type of question in your upcoming eight exam so this is also a question to getting to the differentiation and, uh, with respect to the acceleration points so a particle moves along a straight line such that displacement at any time t is given by s is equal to t cube minus 60 square plus 3t plus 4 meters the velocity when the acceleration is zero so first we should find what we should be uh, thorough about the concept that v velocity is equal to dx by dt that is differentiation of displacement acceleration is equal to dv by dt okay that should be clear acceleration also can be written as v into dv by dx this is not important for this question but you can remember this thing so we will find v dx by dt if you differentiate this thing you will get 3t square t square 3t square minus 12t plus 3 is is equal to v if you differentiate another time this one uh, because v is this one dv by dt is acceleration so it will be uh, 6t minus 12 is equal to 0 the velocity they are asking the velocity when the acceleration is 0 so when the acceleration will be 0 6t is equal to 12 so t is equal to 2 seconds at 2 seconds the acceleration will be 0 then at that 2 seconds what will be the velocity substitute the 2 in uh, 2 in this equation so you will get an answer of uh, answer of uh, 12 into 2 plus 3 sorry guys so it will be not like this it will be uh, if we substitute in this equation 2 3 into 2 square minus 12 into 2 plus 3 you will get an option of uh, 3 into 4 that is 12 minus 24 plus 3 will get what minus 9 meter per second this is the option so uh, you will get uh, this option as c so this type of question may be asked in your uh, exam these are highly expected so let us move into the next part of the question so let us see this question a body dropped from a height h with initial velocity 0 strikes the ground with velocity 3 meter per second another body of same mass dropped from same height with an initial velocity 3 meter per second another body of same mass dropped from the same height with an initial velocity 4 meter per second the final velocity of the second mass with which it strikes the ground these are types of building type questions with where the straight line is involved in the motion so we will see about this question so in this you should re we are getting uh, with the diagrammatic expression so this is a building a body of height h with initial velocity 0 ball is ball or object is dropped with uh, 0 u is equal to 0 because initial velocity is 0 meter per second okay in first case but it is hitting at 3 meter per second as final velocity the next case is another body I will use another color another body where uh, mass another body of same mass is ball we can take it as a ball it is height is also h 
it is also dropped uh, with a final uh, initial velocity of 4 meter per second that is important guys so what will be the v so what we should do is what is the unknown quantity here we can use it as v square minus u square is equal to 2 g h acceleration is g so initial velocity is 0 so v square is equal to 2 g h what you will get uh, v square is 3 meter per second 3 square is equal to 2 into 10 into h so h is equal to 9 by 20 this is important value next we will move into the second case in this second case uh, same formula v square you should find v square is minus u square that is 4 meter per second 4 square is equal to 2 into uh, 10 g we will not take it as 9.8 for making calculations easy into h is 9 by 20 okay this 20 and here 20 will cancel so it is 9 v square is equal to um, 9 plus 16 v is equal to root of 25 this is 25 root of 25 is equal to 5 meter per second this is the final answer the answer will be this one these type of questions are also most important in your upcoming NEET exam these can be asked in different types can be uh, changed and asked in different type of uh, manners but you should be ready with these type of concepts so let us move into the next question so this type of question it is a ratio of distances traveled in nth seconds not in not in n seconds traveling a body traveling a distance with n seconds means a body is traveling uh, how much distance in three seconds is different her body is traveling how much different uh, distance in third second alone third second means different okay i will uh, explain the difference if a body is moving some distance for three seconds it is third second uh, three seconds if it what is the distance moved in third second means at third second how much distance is moved that is difference so if uh, this nth type nth second type of problems has a trick that is there is a simple formula guys you should uh, remember it for your uh, upcoming exams because it will be easy and it will be uh, not time consuming for uh, solving the questions so i'll tell you the formula the formula is u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 it is the distance traveled by a body in the nth second this is the second in a uh, nth second means this is the n, n represents the second so u is initial velocity a is acceleration n is nth second s is distance traveled so we will substitute it in n uh, here initial velocity they gave as rest which means it is at zero v u is equal to zero so it is zero you should not consider so s fourth by s third is a by 2 into 2 into 4 minus 1 by a by 2 into 2 into 3 minus 1 a by 2 a by 2 cancel so you will get it as uh, 8 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 it is 7 by 5 so the answer is this one you should remember this formula type based uh, uh, formulas for remember, uh, solving these formula based questions easily let us move into the next uh, most expected questions so this is a problem relating with your relative velocity this is also expected concept in your upcoming heat exam in the uh, respective of motion in a straight line kinematics so it also requires some diagrams i am not well versed in your diagrams but we will try to make it um, bus is moving at the speed of This is a bus, accept it. Moving with a uh, speed of 10 meter per second. On a straight line, a sco scooterist. This is also a scooterist. You should also accept this one. Is moving. Uh, scooterist wishes to overtake the bus in 10 hundred seconds. If the bus is at a distance of 1 kilometer. So the bus is at 1 kilometer distance that is 1000 meters or 1 kilometer 
so what you should do so what is the concept behind this question at what speed the scooter should move to overtake the bus within 100 seconds so the scooter has to move cross the 1000 meter first and also even the distance crossed by the bus while the scooter is even moving so what you should do the scooter should move 1000 meters plus some distance travel by the bus because it is moving with 10 meter per second so distance into time some time okay is equal to this uh, scooter traveling distance should be equal to 1000 meter because it should got that 1000 meter plus the distance traveled by the bus with 10 meter per second so the scooterist should move with some velocity v okay this t represents the time for which both are traveling the bus travels for some time t the scooterist even travels for some time t uh, here uh, they gave it 100 seconds so we are substituting it with 100 seconds 100 seconds we should overtake so bus also moves for 100 seconds so v into scooter also moves for 100 seconds so the answer is 2000 by 100 is equal to v so the answer v is equal to 20 meter per second so the uh, scooterist must move with the speed of 20 meter per second to overtake the bus so this is an interesting and important question for a NEET exam. So let us uh, see the next question. And this is the final question uh, for you guys. So you should solve it and uh, tell your answer first so that you can get into the special achievers group in the WhatsApp group. The link for the WhatsApp group for joining uh, the WhatsApp group for getting the question papers is in the description point below. So do not forget to answer uh, for this question here in the comment below and do subscribe and share with your friends because we are working so hard to make this uh, videos and concepts getting ready uh, despite our uh, college works. So do uh, uh, give a motivation to us by subscribing to the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you guys.